Well, I got a new chair. Not as squeaky as the other one. <laughs> Every time I did a video, I picked that squeaky chair. Anyway, I'm gonna build on that last idea here of uh, going forward on that. Instead of going, you can go forward, go bottom, then go. Now, uh, it comes out a little syncopated too, so I had a problem going this one index, middle index. Well, with me, it's ring middle. <laughs> this one don't do nothing anymore, but I had a lot of people have that trouble going back and forth between those two. So when you do this roll, the standard Earl Scruggs roll, or lick, you know, we all know this, it goes like a... Now, that's a common phrase Earl did, and we all copy it, and, but right halfway through it, where it goes to the backward roll, I'll go up to it, right here. See how that's, that backward roll part? Well, you can change it to a forward, like I did in another video of that lick, that D lick I did. I changed it to a bottom, and then go forward that way instead of go. So instead of backwards, go forward, and it comes out almost exactly the same. But you'll get around that little cramp that some people have. It's a little cheating thing that you can do, and it works. So let's, it's hard to play slow with some of them licks, but I'll try to do it. Here's Earl's way. Now here's my way. So there ain't much difference in the sound, but there's a difference of whether you'll be able to do it or not physically. Uh, with me, I changed that backward roll to a forward on that pull off on a lot of licks. And then, you know, you can do this. That's with the backward roll, or you could do it forward. Now, you know, it's up to you if you want to do that, but uh, but if you got a cramp in your hand going like middle index there, like, if you have a hard time with that coming backwards, try going bottom there, then go bring the thumb down go forward. It worked for me. I'll try it uh, again slow both ways. This is slow. And now here's with the forward roll my way. It's exactly the same, most of it, it's just that one little part, but it makes it all come out forward, so it's faster, so it'll start a little faster. That's Earl's, and here's mine. So there ain't much difference, but that might help you, the cramp. And then I did another little thing, instead of going this way, backward roll, like we talked, I did this little lick here, we all know this little lick here too. I just substituted that for, instead of this, do this. And so you can break that lick up in two halves. And you get a kind of a neat thing happen. Instead of going, that's the Earl way. Here's a new way with the forward roll. Now here's with this thing up here in there. Go halfway through, go to there, and then get that in there. So you can tag it with that. So you'll get the same idea again, but a little melodic flourish to it. And it's not a backward roll. It's a. I can actually do that roll pretty good. It's not a four. It's not this back and forth between those two there. So we got as of. Now you can even put that in that long lick that Earl did here.
Let's try putting this in that backward part of it, just that one little piece. <laughs> Now there's lots of slants right there on that lick that makes it able to play it. So if you, it's up to you whether you want to use them or just use them to we have a little change, a little different sound. So let's play the roll in my sweet baby's arms at a, just a half speed. It's hard to play slow, but to give you an idea. The way Earl played that, I'll play it Earl's way. with this and that lick. It's slow. Or let's try it with that with it broke with the forward roll in the middle there so we get this sound almost the same as there else we got some variations on that. Again, instead of going go or on that one part. That helps.